watching Debbie Boone perform in Las Vegas with oh, Kenny yes. Rogers. Yes. And that marriage is going to happen soon, isn't yes, it? Yes, September 1st. Your boy, 1st, your September boy 1st. and Debbie Boone. Do you believe it? Isn't that something? Uh, Getting to sing another it. singer in the I back. know. I love it. And a good singer. And a good singer. Oh, what a right. good singer. Oh, she's so good. She's such a darling girl. I know. Oh. She was on your show, and uh, you showed a picture of Gabrielle. And I was in Wilmington, Delaware, in a hotel room, thinking I can handle this very well. All of a sudden, I'm looking at my kid's picture on your show, yeah. and Debbie said, and I started to cry <laughs> like a ridiculous person. It's so silly. The song you just sang, it, it was uh, long identified with uh, our good friend whom we lost yes, not long ago, Pink. Pink, the late Pink Crosby. And uh, when did he sing that? Do you remember when he did it? Was, to... uh, it was in uh, Road to Rio in uh, 47. And we're trying to, uh, can Van Heusen, you think? I think, right? I think you're probably right. Oh, that's yes. such a good song. Isn't that a pretty song? He just, just, sings so he just good. did the I best mean, music. You sound of your uh -huh. voice. I'm like confused about it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, people, uh, people certainly remember you were working with Bing, but I didn't remember that you had worked with him for 26 years. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. I, I didn't realize that either until you just said it. My goodness, that's a long time. <laughs> that is a long time. Is yes. it true that you used to do his radio show he, when you were expecting he oh, would yes. come to your house and record the he, radio yes show? yes but the way that it happened was we used to go to the studio to do all the music you know but then uh, one time i couldn't leave the house when we had to do some of the radio because sure. they were on every day you know? yeah. so uh, they came they set up in in the living room and he kind of liked that he only had to come about you know about 10 minutes away <laughs> and so he said well we'll do it from here from now on so from that's the that's room. what we used to do we would and uh, nobody knew that no no, the sound was pretty good, you know, and, and we would set up and, uh, and do all the commercials first, and then we'd break out the ice, and <laughs> Ken Carpenter and Bing little, and I would little, sit down. A little scotcherino. A little scotcherino. <laughs> Why not? Yes, it how many, was... How many clam bakes did you do, too? Oh, wow, I guess about ten. I guess about ten. That's the first time we uh, worked, uh, we were doing a clam bake with Phil, Phil Harris and Bing. Bing. And uh, Rosie sang three songs and got out of the room. Oh, yes. It was a stag. <laughs> well, that's right. And you know, Bing used to really, he, he'd say, I'll come and get you. You just stay in your dressing room, right. and I'll come and get you when it's time for it. You wouldn't let why, me why? stay. Why? What did you go Well, uh, no, no, no. hey, oh, oh. Phil, Harris would get a, Phil Harris would get a little, a little did crazy. Did you read the article recently about him in, in, the, in the Sunday Times? Yeah. I think no, I didn't. Oh, it was fascinating. Was oh, it? Oh, i got to get him on a show to talk about that. He talked about all the the good singers and why they're good and his old days and the band days it was fascinating you would have loved he's a fascinating man i'm gonna save it for you hey there's a reason why he was bing's closest That's friend right. you know oh, yeah. really. i did something so smart that i for once i did something smart bing crosby and you were working in new york city at the Eurus. At the yeah and i went to see the show i said you know i never saw bing crosby in person i want to go see that show it was great. Oh, yeah, it was great. It wasn't it wasn't a thrill it to great, the way that the audience reacted to they him. Went, uh, it was they went, crazy. He would walk out on the stage and, and they everything, just, everybody's going crazy. Well, why is not? That true? He was a tradition. I mean, he I was know. standard. You know, I didn't realize, I don't think, how important Bing Crosby was until I was in Calcutta, India during the war. And I passed this little store and a guy's sitting there with a turban and sheets on and there was he was playing Crosby records on a Victrola. And You're I, kidding me. That that's is big. big. That's that's that's, big. <laughs> that's that's important. He had oh a marvelous my. sense of humor, which I don't oh, think a best. lot of people knew about. The best. Oh, I think they did. All he the kidded things. about himself, didn't he? Terrifically. Uh, you know, he used uh, he used himself as uh, as the uh, he would tell great stories about himself. There was one thing that happened in uh, in London the last time that we worked there. Uh, he uh, which was just before he yes, died. Yes, he, we, were, uh, we were there for two weeks, and he used to take his toupee off after he finished the performance, and he used to carry it back and forth to his house in a little kind of a, a cardboard box, you know, with a rubber band around it. It looked kind of dumb, but he'd put it in an Aer Lingus bag and go home, you know. So, <laughs> so, uh, so he, uh, he came to work one night, and he said, I had a kind of a scare tonight. I, uh, I couldn't find the red cardboard box because we had a new maid, and she threw it out. <laughs> and I said, I said to him, you know, I, I, the way that he found it was hysterical because he went through the garbage. Can you see Bing Crosby on the back stoop someplace going, going through the garbage? The garbage. That's, that's how he found it. That's but how he would, found it. You know, in retrospect, it would, have meant no, it would have made no difference at all, right? Had he he, felt, he felt as though it did. He, he wanted to, he didn't like to wear it, and he would not wear it when he was out socially at all, you know that. Nope. But, but he would... Uh, he would wear it if he if he was going to do a show for 
for people. His humility is what I was taken by. And uh, when Barbara Walters interviewed him, she, I think one of the questions was she asked him what he thought was his uh, uh, greatest uh, attraction, whether the voice or the talent. Or he said, "I'm just an ordinary." He said, "I'm just an ordinary singer." Oh, you realize the people that he influenced. Mm -hmm. He and Sinatra have influenced the world. You know. Yes. And, yes. Uh, but he but was I really about think it. that he meant that. Sure. I really think sure he meant he that. Meant he thought that.